So that's going to be this first API, which first microservice called the movie catalog service. Okay, this is one of the three microservices that we're going to build. This is what's responsible for providing that payload that we saw earlier. Given a name, it's going to return an array of movies. Make sense? Next, we're going to build the second microservice, which is going to be the movie info service. So this is a microservice which is responsible for giving movie information. It takes in a movie ID, and then it returns information about the movie. OK, so each movie has an ID. It's in some internal system. Let's assume it has a database or it's making another call somewhere. It takes in an ID, returns the movie details. Again, since it's a microservice, it's its own thing. It's not concerned with where it's being used. right? It, has, it probably has its own database. Microservices have their own databases, by the way. That's typical. So it does its own thing, and then it returns the movie data, depending on what the uh, movie ID is. So this movie catalog service is going to be using that because it needs the movie information, right? So it's going to get that movie information from the movie info service. The third microservice we're going to be writing is the ratings data service. So this is where we are storing what rating a particular user has given for a particular movie. Okay, so let's say I have the user ID Kashik. It has a bunch of ratings saved, right? It has like okay, movie A, B, and C, or movie ID one, two, and three, and ratings three, four, and two. Okay, so it's going to give only that. It's going to take input as the user ID, and then it's going to return back the movie IDs and the ratings. Notice that it's not storing movie information. You're getting that from the movie info service, and then the movie catalog service is something that kind of makes a call to these two services, gets the data, puts them together and then returns it back, right? So think of the process here. It first needs to make, given the user ID, it first makes a call to the rating data service to figure out what are the movies this guy has watched and what he has it's rated. It's going to get that. And then for each movie there, it's going to make a call to the movie info service and say, get me the information about this movie, get that together, put them all together, and then return the response. Yes. Well. Everything is too broad a term. It's basically making two calls, getting together. It's kind of orchestrating, yeah. if you will. Yeah, it's getting to those two calls. The API is going to be, this is going to be the front, right? The JavaScript developer is going to call this API. It's going to get that and then return it back, right? OK, so this is the picture, the ideal picture, the one we want to achieve. What are the things we have to do? We're going to create, we're going to start by creating three Spring Boot projects. Each one of these microservices is a separate Spring Boot project. We're going to build the movie catalog service API first. Okay, We're going to put a placeholder there, and it's going to be a hard-coded list. We're going to serve our JavaScript developers so that they can go and code whatever they want to do. right? And then we're going to build the movie info service and the da rating data service. Those are the two dependent services that this guy needs. And then is the, the microservice part of it. So until this step, until you build the rating data service, these are not really microservices. They are just separate Spring Boot applications. right? The microservices where they kind of work together to form some other application which is bigger than themselves. right? So that's this is the step where they actually communicate. And we're going to do this the naive way. Remember, you know, um, we are gradually ramping up the complexity. We are gradually adding topics to our discussion. So we're going to first do this the very basic way the naive way, which is not supposed to be done, but then we'll, it'll get us started, and then we're going to replace the parts with smarter ways like service discovery. So here you are using a movie catalog service, which will interact with other two services. Mm -hmm. uh, is it also OK that UI will call two different services and then each, each does a massage uh, thing? That's possible, too. Okay. That's possible, too. The idea is if you have multiple clients, let's say you want to do this for uh, the web client, and the mobile client and uh, TV clients. You don't want them doing the same thing over and over. So you might as well create an API, put it on the server side, and return it. Uh, 